Hello and welcome to today's YouTube episode. On today's sewing adventure I'm going to be sharing a chatty sewing catch up with you. So let's get started. So today I'm going to be sharing a few different things with you. At the end of this clip I'm going to be sharing a little bit of my most recent trip that I went on. Last week I went to Iceland. Um, we stayed in Reykjavik in Iceland and we did quite a lot of sightseeing so I will be sharing a bit of that with you at the end so if you want to see that then make sure you stick around for that. I did make one sewing, well actually it's more of a knitting related purchase there so I'll also be sharing that with you as well. I have some fabrics that I would like to share with you that I haven't shared with you yet today and I also have a work in progress as well. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, then stick around and I'll be sharing that with you in this episode. So as I said, I had some new fabrics to share with you. Now this one is actually so new that it has only just arrived in the post. I was waiting for it to arrive before I filmed this clip. So if I show you, I haven't, I've opened it, but I haven't unwrapped it yet. So if I show you that, which says what Vicky made, then some of you might know immediately what is going to be in here. And what I did was I bought some fabric from the wonderful Vicky, and it is in here. I also bought some labels, so that's the labels there. They say keep growing, which is really sweet. I think there's six labels in there, or maybe, maybe even eight labels, well that's good. So eight labels in there that I can use for my coming up sewing projects. And then this is the fabric. So this gorgeous fabric with flowers and vases on it, which is absolutely stunning. And the thing I love about it is that it's also got this on the salvaged edge as well. So what Vicky made on the salvaged edge and that gorgeous little picture of Vicky herself as well. Now, what's also really useful, because remember this literally just came through the door, is that Vicky has sent this out with her fabrics. So it says, thank you for your order, and then it says, Vicky's top tip for, for sewing, and it says what needles to use, it says microtext needles, it says to wash the fabric, it says don't tumble dry it, and it says to use woven interfacing. So that's actually really helpful. And it also says that the fabric is 100% tinsel. There we go. And lovely detail as well. This gorgeous postcard or little poster um, was sent to and it just says, Amelia, thank you for supporting my Kickstarter from Vicky. So that's absolutely beautiful. And I love the illustrations of all the people on the back there. So a really lovely delivery. Now, let's get on to the fabric. As I said, it was tinsel fabric. I did actually get to um, see the fabric in real life at the Knitting and Stitching show. It was on Megan's stall, the Pigeon Wishes stall. But it, as you can see, I wonder if you could get, can get an idea of the drape. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really stunning. And well, I imagine it's, it's quite... Um, it's not thin, I don't want to say thin, but it's got a really nice weight to it as well, which I can imagine will be really lovely in summer. So, what are my plans for this fabric, I hear you asking. Um, I did initially plan on making the Agnes shirt, the Paper Theory Agnes shirt. I think that that would be really lovely in this fabric, but I am going to put it in the wash as soon as I've finished this um, recording, and then I will decide after that. I think some sort of shirt or some sort of blouse would look really lovely in this gorgeous fabric. So very happy that this has been delivered. I did actually have to delay the delivery because we weren't home. Um, so it, we got home yesterday and I scheduled the delivery to come today. So I'm super pleased I did that because now it's here and I can give it a little wash and then start planning and sewing that one. Now the next two fabrics that I wanted to share with you are ones that I haven't shared before. And I bought them both on eBay, so they're both second-hand fabrics. Or, well, not second-hand, I don't think they've been used yet, but they're kind of vintage fabrics. So this one here is this gorgeous large floral fabric. I feel like it's 
kind of like a curtain weight fabric um, but it is actually a Liberty so it's an older one I think it said you know it's a good few years old I can't remember maybe the 70s and um, it's 100% cotton and it's got this really kind of lovely structure to it so obviously these are my colors I love these colors so much um, I am not sure what I'm going to make with this. Initially I did think again an Agnes shirt but then when it arrived it was quite a bit more structured so maybe now I'm thinking some sort of jacket or something like that. It would also make kind of really nice trousers too. So I am pondering on that one. Now the size of this, remember it was from eBay so I couldn't choose the size. I believe it's Oh, how long actually was it? I think it was two meters and it's one and a half wide. So a fairly decent, oh, maybe it's one and a half by one and a half. A fairly decent size though, enough to definitely to make some trousers or to make some sort of shirt or top. So yeah, so excited about this one. This one has already been pre-washed. I got this one quite a while ago, but now just to decide what to make with this. And I do have my Thea trousers hanging on the rack next to me here. And I just think in terms of kind of colors, I think that that, you know, that looks really, really lovely. So maybe some sort of top would be good for that. And also in saying that, the um, Vicky fabric, the Vicky's fabric matches the Thea trousers fabric really nicely as well. So really happy about both of these fabrics. Now the last fabric I'm going to share with you today is this. It is uh, another eBay purchase and this time I purchased someone's actual curtains. <laughs> but they are actually in really good condition which is great because sometimes I've bought curtains on eBay before and they haven't been in great condition but these ones are actually really lovely. So there are two curtains. So the curtains are 150 wide. I had a quick measure just before I filmed this one. 150 wide and 150 lengths, but there's actually two of them. So that means that it's like 150 wide by three meters. So there's a very decent amount of fabric there. Now I'll actually stand up to show you this fabric. It is a cotton fabric, but it is very, very lovely. And it's kind of got these big, the squares on it are actually quite big. If I hold it up against my body then you can see but it's got these really beautiful each panel is a different type of flower and then also in between the panels you've got these really gorgeous um, little little panels little kind of diagonal square panels as well so super happy with this and really gorgeous fabric so again what am I going to make with this one Initially I bought this to make a dress, but I'm now not sure because I think that this would make a really lovely quilted jacket, but again I'm still not sure. I also thought a circle skirt would be really good for this one, that would be really nice to wear in summer, but I'm actually not sure. I think I was a bit surprised by how big these panels were. I imagine them to be a bit smaller so when I imagine that I could see it kind of in a garment a bit more easily but obviously because I am quite small as well a, a print that is this big I'll really have to think about what to make with it so if you have any ideas or any pattern suggestions then I would absolutely love to hear what you've got to say because I am a bit at a bit of a loss but I also maybe I could use it for the back of a quilt although that would be a shame because then I couldn't wear it but I kind of have this idea of like quilting around here and then maybe quilting some of the floral details as well I'm not sure but I will have to think about it any suggestions are more than welcome so this one has been pre-washed as well um, any suggestions I'm completely open to them so please let me know what you think might be a nice pattern for that now at the beginning I said I had a work in progress, so this is my work in progress. It might not look like an awful lot, but I did make a Marnie top out of this fabric. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen that top. This is the fabric that I bought in Mood Fabrics. And because I only made the Marnie top, I had enough fabric left over to cut the pieces for the new Craft House Everyday Waistcoat. 
So I, as you can see, I have cut, I've cut a layer of the mood fabrics, I've cut a layer of wadding, and I've also cut that for the backing. I find that this won't be the backing of the waistcoat, I will put something obviously on the other side of this, so you know, <laughs> um, that won't be visible at all. But I find that if I don't put a backing on the fabric when I come to quilt it, it just doesn't get that kind of nice 3D padded effect, which you should be able to see. Now this is also going to be my Aurifil thread challenge for April, so I don't have a lot of time on this one. But if you can see there, what I've done is I've kind of taken a section of the flowers there and I've added a little bit of embroidery to that one. Now the challenge for the Aurifil threads for April is Me Made Me. So obviously this is a wearable garment, it's going to be the quilted waistcoat and I just wanted to add some little embellishments. I've never really done anything like that before but that has also given me the idea for this curtain fabric to maybe try something like that too. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do this little section just on the one side as kind of an experiment. Obviously I've got to make the other side of the waistcoat um, and the back of the waistcoat and all I did for that was I just made these quilting lines um, 1.25 inches apart and I did use the Aurifil variegated thread for that as well. So super pleased with how that one is coming on and can't wait to share that one with you once it's finished, which will be quite soon because it has to be finished by the end of the month. Now I did have the idea to back the waistcoat with this. Remember this was the gorgeous Pigeon Wishes um, lilac corduroy fabric that I got at the Knitting and Stitching show. So I thought that I will make the waistcoat reversible. This will be one side and then the contrast colour will be the lilac um, and I think that they actually go really nicely together. I do have to, because I want to make the Thea trousers out of this, I do actually have to check that there's enough though so that might not happen obviously. Um, I think I bought two metres of this so there, there might just be enough. If there isn't then I'll, I'll choose another fabric and that's fine. But um, I thought that they would actually look really nicely together. So hopefully that will work. And I do want to make a start on those Thea trousers soon. So I'll probably get them cut out. And then I will know how much I've got left for the waistcoat. So in terms of finished makes, I ha as I mentioned, I've finished the Marnie out of this fabric. And I've made the Thea trousers. I did actually make some Nico tops to wear in Iceland which actually came in really handy because it was cold, it was very windy and the wind was absolutely freezing so they did come in quite useful. Um, I'm hoping to film my makes maybe not next week but the week after um, but obviously because I have been away then I haven't been at home um, which means that I haven't had much time for sewing. I did take a crochet project away with me to Iceland so I haven't been doing an awful lot of sewing as I just said but what I did do when we were away was I took some crochet so this is a crochet project I'm working on it is the Katie Jones Knit Flower Folk Tea um, I'll put a link for that below um, and I have been uh, crocheting these granny squares when we've been away so what I did because obviously I didn't want to take there's four different colours I didn't want to take four big um, yarn skeins. I only wanted to take one. So what I did before we went away, there's four different colorways for these so they're all kind of using, I haven't tied in the ends yet as you can tell, um, they're all using the same colors but in slightly different colorways. All of the borders are the most palest pink. Um, what I did before we went away was I made loads of these without the border in all of the different co combinations and then when we were away I just took the hook and the outside colour and did all of the outside. So as you can see I made quite good progress with that when we are away just you know in the evenings or you know um, just before we go out or whatever just sit there and I did that so that was actually a really lovely thing to do. Um, uh, I did take a book as well but sometimes I find it just more relaxing to do crochet. So the four different combinations uh, uh, here. 
So one, two, three, <laughs> and uh, where's the other one? Four, with the pink around the outside. So I really like these, I think they look gorgeous. The Flower Folk Tea, if you don't know it, is kind of like a vest, and it is, you know, a vest tea, hence the name Flower Folk Tea. So I'll pop a picture of that one in for you to see, and I have got, I think I've got five more borders to do, but before we left, I couldn't quite finish all of the squares, so I've got eight more of one of the colorways, I can't remember which one. I actually think I might be this. I think I've got eight more of these complete to do and five borders on the other ones to do and then I will have done all the granny squares for that. So I actually have made quite good progress on that and I'm looking forward to seeing that one finish. I think that'll be beautiful in the spring and summer. Now I did say that I bought now I did say that I bought something um, knitting related when I was in Iceland and it's in this little bag here. I bought these little um, stitch savers and I thought they were really cute and what I like about them is that they say that they're made in Iceland and then they've got like obviously the little safety pin but they've got a little mitten and they are made of wood. They did have some other designs but I just thought that they were super cute but I am hoping to start a knitting project and I will need the stitch savers for that so I thought that that was a good purchase purchase we did buy this in the hand knitting association shop which is just at the top of the rainbow street i can't remember the name of the street i will put it in the links below they had some really really gorgeous yarns but i didn't really want to buy any yarn i just wanted something small um, that i could kind of remember my trip to iceland with and this is what i came up with and i will use them um, so yeah, so that was basically the only, I did buy some socks with puffins on because they were in one of the tourist shops and I thought they were really cute. Um, but apart from that, we just spent money on food and excursions. So I think that's a pretty good way to spend money and it's nice just to have something small um, to remember the trip. So that is what I got. So. So as I said at the beginning, I will put a little bit of our trip to Iceland on after this. I did wear me mates when we were there. I wore the Clio, Tilly and the Buttons Clio um, dress with a Nico top underneath. I wore my Nico tops and I did actually wear this dress as well. This is the Tilly and the Buttons Indigo um, top uh, dress. This is a really lovely warm one. So I'll pop a few pictures of the outfits that I wore after this, but it was just so cold that you kind of like, I did spend a lot of the holiday just wearing leggings with um, cargo trousers on top <laughs> that weren't me mates. And then about three or four layers under a coat that's not a me made, it's kind of an older coat, but a very, very warm coat. So and then obviously a snood and a hat and lots and lots of layers. So it was a beautiful, glorious, amazing holiday and I loved it. It was cold, so it didn't mean that I could kind of freely wear my mermaids as I would when I am here. So yes, I will pop a reel on after this so you can see some of the things that we saw. It was really amazing. We did see the Northern Lights. We saw some lava caves. We saw lots of landscape. We also went to a waterfall, we saw a geyser. So yeah, so lots and lots of things that we got to see. And it was a really, oh, we went whale watching as well. <laughs> so it was a really lovely time. And yes, I hope you enjoy that reel. So I hope you enjoyed watching that and I really hope you enjoyed today's YouTube episode. It was a bit of a mix up of things, mainly sharing fabrics. If you have any ideas for the fabrics that I have shared today, then I would love to know what your ideas are. 
and I can't wait to share my makes with you soon. I would love to know what your ideas for those fabrics are. So that is it for today's YouTube episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed sharing the fabrics that I have recently purchased with you and some of the ideas that I have for them as well. Um, I'm really looking forward to finishing that quilted vest and sharing it with you, the quilted waistcoat, and also making a start on the gorgeous fabric that I got from Vicky today. I just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel and if you could like this clip I'd really appreciate that. Also if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel I would really appreciate that too. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you and I'll see you here again soon.